the Idaho, you don't have a map, chances are you're not going to make it anytime soon. Your business plan is your business map. That's where our resources <coughs> come in handy. Store, SPDC, Women's Business Centers, Veterans Centers, they can assist you in your plan. Now, they're not going to do the plan for you because only you know your business. They can just tell you, are these areas been covered? Are they been covered satisfactory? Is this something that you can present to one of your bankers and they can accept? Because they're going to look at it and say, this, is, this appears to be feasible or it doesn't appear to be feasible. Uh, several years ago when I was processing loans, we had an application come in. This guy wanted a car wash. He was going to bring me a $2 million loan for a car wash. He was going to have all these mini bays and everything else, and he was going to operate it, and he was going to make this much money. So I kind of took the money and backed it out, and I said, well, you know, in order to do that, you got to run that car wash seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and you got to have people lined up and run a, every one of those bays a car through there every six minutes. And I don't think that's feasible. Well, why not? So you're in Florida. We have hurricanes. We have rain. People don't get their cars washed on those days. Well, it's located in the interstate. And I go, well, how many cars have you ever seen driving down the interstate at 2 o'clock in the morning decide to pull into the car wash and get, get your car washed? So we think you need to go back to the drawing board. So eventually he got a loan, but it wasn't quite for as much as he did because he went back and did his homework. So if you're in business, make sure your plan is something you can reach be feasible. If you're looking to make a million dollars a year and you've only been making 10000 you've got to come up with some big plan to change that. So that's where our resource partners can help. We don't make direct loans. A lot of people call and say, how do I get an SBA loan? First thing I tell them, go talk to your bank. Start with the bank you're dealing with. If they can't help you, then go to another bank and ask them. We have a number of banks in the area, PNC, uh, and Paradise. You just recently came to me. I've known you for many years. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kevin, I'm just teasing. Paradise, PNC, Wachovia, Regions, South Trust, are some of the banks that participate with SBA. They can look at your needs. Now, while you're sitting there going, well, why does it, if the bank's going to make me a loan, why would they want an SBA guarantee? Well, in every business, there's some risk. And SBA provides a guarantee to minimize that risk. If you go to the bank and they say, okay, I need $100,000, and the bank thinks that you're about a $20,000 risk, they can make you a loan with SBA guarantee at 85%, now their risk is less than less than the 20%. So now they might be more than willing to loan you the money. In addition, the banks can sell that loan and make a little few bucks off of it too. So, uh, they'll do feel right. We'll I remember when I was in banking, the first day on the job that I went when I went to work for the bank, this bank had a lot of SBA loans, and the reason I went to work there was they were having problems uh, with the regulators and, and making money. The, I, I said, hey, you need to sell these loans. They sold. Oh, we having trouble back in the bank? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Remind you of a commercial. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Anyway, the, the first thing I said was, let's sell these guaranteed portions. Well, they did, and I was a hero for the rest of the year because I made some money the first day on the job. So I justified my salary, or at least part of it. Anyway. Can you speak into that mic, please? Is this any better? That's much better. How about this? Can you hear that? No. How about this? Okay. More. Now? Yes. I, blowing me out. Move over here. Be sure you go to that website. Look at what goes on in that area. 
See where your resource partners are. Mm -hmm. See what programs are available for your business. In addition, if you are looking to go into government contracting, I suggest that you talk or go to the website ccr.gov. It's a central contractor registration site. You know when, you, when you go to register, be sure you have your tax return next to you so you can get some information off of that that they're going to ask. What that website will do, it's available to prime contractors who are required to subcontract portions of their prime contract with the government to small businesses. And that's how they find out who you are so they can send you a notice. You can also go to uh, fedbizops.gov if you're looking for see what's available. There, there are a number of contracts being let. You need to bid on them. If you are looking for assistance in completing that bid, Palm Beach State College has what they call the Procurement Technical Assistance Center, PTAC. I don't know if any of you have ever seen a government contract bid, and it has uh, C4, 3, dot 7, or whatever at the end of it that you have to, it's a federal acquisitions requirement. The people at PTAC can tell you what that means and explain to you what it means so that it's covered in your bid. If you don't meet that requirement, the government's not going to take your a bid, they're going to kick it out. So it's important that you know what all these things mean. And you can take your bid over to them and they can take a look at it to see that if you met those requirements. They do not charge you for this. Our counseling is not for fee for a fee. It's free. Some of the training may be charged, but that's usually to cover the cost of materials or the cost of some of the expenses they have to come out of pocket with. Procurement Technical Assistance Center, PTAC, P-T-A-C. They can help you with the Commerce Department, too, export. How many of you going to import stuff? Nobody. Well, sorry, we can't help you. <laughs> we only do exporting. We only, only loan money for people to go out. Any questions? Yes, sir. Over the past few years, uh, oh, I, uh, Louis you. Hats, I have a computer consulting, uh, custom websites, text messaging. Uh, over the past few years, business hasn't been great for me and a lot of people. And then uh, when you go for loans, they want to see uh, and business plans. Uh, instead, of, instead of hiring people, I've been letting people go. Uh, expenses have gone up. Income has gone down, but they also want to see a track record on how things are going. And plus, a lot of business was uh, made through word of mouth, networking. Um, so now, any loan that I would want to take, I want to use for advertising dollars, and there's, there's, there's no collateral there. I uh, doubt that I'll be able to hire people in the near future, so I don't even know if I'm going to qualify for a, a small business loan. And also with the government contracts, uh, basically they want to see if you're financially stable enough to take on a large contract. Right. But the past few years with the economy, it's, 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 things have gone down, not gone up. So I don't know how much they use that in their <coughs> criteria for judging whether you could get a government contract or not. Okay. I'm gonna, the first question is you're having how would the bank make you a loan if you're declining sales and declining income and don't have any collateral? That's where the SBA guarantee comes into effect. What you're going to have to show to the bank is that, yes, it has declined, but this is what I'm going to do to change it. That's what your business plan is going to show them. The second thing is they're going to look at, first of all, your credit, your character, how much money you have invested, the net worth of the business, and they're going to see if you can pay that loan back out of the proceeds and out of the profits that you're making or the projected profits. Yes, they're going to look at your past record, and, and it's going to have to show that you were profitable. As far as the collateral goes, 